Good morning everyone, welcome to another beautiful, beautiful morning, an episode of The Hunt for Bronze. We just launched a kayak, late start this morning, woke up not feeling great, um, didn't get to bed till late so I was pretty drowsy, um, and something I had last night did not sit well with me, so anyway, long story short, we're on the water, birthday bash bass, birthday bash bass, yeah let's make that the name of this video. Um, yeah, why not? Anyway, so what we're doing at the moment is we're going to be throwing those lures I talked about yesterday or in the last episode, which was the next five. Start with those and we'll go from there. We'll go fish the shaded banks with the buzz bait um, and have a bit of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm really excited to get out and fish. Let's do it. Kind of as to be expected, I should always know that near the launch spot is not the best fishing, but it just looks so good. Every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty. I should know though, that it's not always the best option. However, what I do know is that we're going through a journey together today. We're, Cause I'm trying out new lures. It's kind of, well, it's a bit of fun. And I know they're not new, new in the sense that I haven't fished, uh, like I've fished them before, but they're different colors and that's what I think the big key factor was um, that the really bright white thing wasn't getting eaten. It was getting followed, but it just wasn't getting eaten. I think the darker color should help commit a few. Um, and now I say that I've got a buzz bait with a white plastic on, but the reason I got that white plastic is the underside of a lizard and frog, which is buzz baits perfectly imitate a white. So, and it's the only colour of this plastic in the state, right, in the country. Um, it would also help if I didn't uh, get myself snagged like that. Of course, I'm talking to you guys and I get the old snaggy boy. Good morning. You can sing. Uh, the largest will be and also a chance to catch up with friends. So. Yeah, true. And thinking about it too, I forgot the whole red tide thing. Yeah, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, I could go and pay for a guide to take me out, but... What's the fun in that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get why. Oh, no! Got a hit? No, he followed it all the way up. And he was hunting for it as I lifted it out of the water. And my, oh no, there he is. There he is, got him, got him. Yes, got him. Are you with someone out there, are you? With the camera. Oh. All right, guys, while well, I'm talking to my parents here, uh, say hi. Yep, there we go. Hi, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, just having a bit of a birthday chat and <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I caught a bass on the wacky rigged stinger on the weighted hook. How cool is that? It's not a big fish by any stretch of the imagination, but I can guarantee that is one of the first bass in Australia caught, well, probably on that brand of lure, um, but on a weighted wacky rig like that. How cool is that? I've caught them wacky before on Senkos, but bigger ones, so that's pretty cool. So he picked it up off the bottom? Yep, that's it, because they're eating jigs here at the moment, so none of the normal techniques I was using, like, were really effective. Yeah. Um, I reckon this area gets hit pretty heavily, so I'm trying to fish different lures. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to it. Um, the old birthday phone calls, they'll get you every time, eh? So, halfway through one of those convos, you would have seen me get one on the wacky rigged 
on this wacky rigged worm. Um, unfortunately, I lost it at some. I lost one at some stage, and I haven't rigged this one exactly the same, so it's not quite swimming as nicely. Um, but we'll work it out. What I need to do is get some O-rings um, to put round this, so I can not destroy the plastic every time. Anyway. I'll explain it in a later video of how I rig these with, or how to rig these with O-rings to reduce the loss of plastic. Now this may not be the most exciting way to catch bass, right? It may not be the most, you know, heart and mouth hitting things like a buzz bait or a spinner bait or whatever, or a hard body. But, there's something extremely rewarding about testing a technique that's been designed for a completely different species and adapting it. Um, the Swimbait Bass Brigade, I do it for the Aussie Bass. Nothing but respect for those guys because they work really hard to get the fish they get. There's a lot of casting involved. Although they get some good quality bass. Um, sorry, I'm just concentrating on this worm. What I really like about this lure <clears throat> is just the way it sinks. It just, it's such an un... Oh, I'm actually, no, I'm not going to say unpredictable, but the way it hunts, as it sinks, it hunts fish. Um, I like a lure that hunts, much like a good chatterbait will hunt left and right. A, um, a jig. A jig that has a bit of a turn when it sinks, like depending on the head. Um, but the way this just falls through the water column is unreal. Oop, that's a bad cast. Ah, this is where area I caught the last uh, good bass in last time I was here. So let's just fish this through here and see if uh, anybody's playing, anyone at home. Do I change colour? Do I try a colour change? Oh, he's on tree. He's on a tree. He's on the tree. Come on, still be on. Still be on. Oh no, he's off. Oh my God, just not casting well. Everything's dying on me. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it had a look. It had a look. Oh, it may have been a big car. Yeah, 
Yeah, they are carp. Nice dark bit of shade. Let's see if we can get one out of there. Yep, there we go. Not huge, but he's a bass. He's a bass. Bass on the wacky. <laughs> tiny thing. Tiny, tiny bass. But hey, it's cool catching them on different techniques. Little guy. See you, mate. Yeah. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a very good fish. It's a very good fish. So we've lost chest cam. What? Somehow this fish has swum through the strap. Oh, no idea how he just got out there, but he did. Oh. Okay guys, now that, that is cool. We got that. Probably about 38 centimetre bass. Hooked really well in the top of the top of the lip. I'll have to make his thing up. Sorry, I'm just readjusting the kayak. So he's not a bad little not a bad little battler. Um, yeah. Good size. Cool eat. Great fish. Well, that does it guys. Another episode of The Hunt for Bronze done and dusted. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I had a blast filming it. Um, it was really cool to get out and try some new techniques. Well, different techniques. Kind of new, I guess. I've done wacky unweighted before, but not weighted. So, yeah, okay, let's say new. <laughs> um, if you liked this episode today, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, we're at that 2,000 subscriber mark. If not, I would love for you guys to jump on board, be the first ones notified about any videos that come out. And if you do so, hit the bell so you do get notifications when I release a video with hopefully some cool tips, different fishing styles, and just me having a good time all around. So today's lure of choice was the uh, Domeki Stinger. This is a, as you can see, a fat bodied worm, um, three inches long and it was on a one eighth of an ounce wacky, weighted wacky hook. Um, I could not even tell you for the life of me the name of that hook. I bought it in the US six years ago um, while I was fishing over there for largemouth and everything else. But the rod that I was using it on, um, ACM four to eight pound on the North Fork blank. North Fork blanks are good, um, excellent. I reckon I'm really keen. If you are looking for a great bass rod, that is an awesome one. Um, does a bit of everything. Nice, crisp graphite. It's what I use for jerk baiting. It's got that drop shot blank, so it's that softer tip, which was good today to just 
I'm not sure whether I would have been better going to the heavier rod or not, but hey, if I was, we'll find out next time because I'll fish it on that heavier gear next time instead of the softer rod. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode today. Until next time, go out fishing, enjoy yourselves, and you know what? We out.